ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the continuing saga of communications I've been receiving from this Leonardo Bastiani from the Netherlands, which began with a comment he put on one of my videos in my comments field. In other words, he boarded my vessel and gave me some kind words, uh, asked some questions about the apostrophe, and then made some claims of his own. That in turn was parlayed into a comments reaction video, which I shared, and then also culminated in about a 25 minute video of which I gave in-depth closure on the apostrophe. That this, this individual was claiming was no contract, so on and so forth, saying that it was a mistake, that other people made this mistake and asking me, you know, am I making this mistake or something like that? Well, I shared that closure in that 25 minute video. He has sent me another email. As you can see by the title of the email, closure of the apostrophe, I sent him the video. And this is his response to me sending that video to him. Dear Jason Matthew, thank you for reply. Distorting point of mine, I have to think he meant starting. Distorting part of mine was an open conversation. Telling you I appreciate your work and PSG knowledge. I think he means correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, knowledge. That must be a short version of it, PSG. In a way, you started to talk about some proof. Well, that only came later, Leonardo, after a few comments. You made the claim in the first comment. Matter of fact, why don't we pull that comment up so we can look at it? The comment was, hi, Jason, your mentality is in, an, is in an allergy with mine, clearness, openness, and basic knowledge from the source and its principles. Within the Netherlands, I, forward slash, we, created our own sovereignty declaration in its additional style manual, six pages. Regarding the apostrophe or the symbol, it implies turning away. It is the mistake. Okay, so this individual is claiming that it's a mistake, which it's not. It's not if you do the research. RJG often made, but perhaps not. However, I never got his style manual. So an apostrophe behind one's name or fact implies that its intention is the connection, but the meaning of the apostrophe is to get away from it. Not correct. I mean, it's correct that it does mean that in Greek, but if you watch the closure I give in the 25-minute video, it's a lot deeper than that, and it takes a lot more work to get to these closures than rather just sort of like skimming the surface as he did. Um, you really got to put the work in and, and look at it with a fine tooth comb. In any case, we define the apostrophe within our style manual. Did you do it too? Curious to know. Best regards from Delage Landon. Underlined is one term and name. Good luck with the good work. Okay, so that was the initial comment. As you can see here, he made the claim that he create he or we created a six-page style manual. All right. And if you look at the comments video that I did on this, you will see that he goes into saying that he learned correct sentence structure in Dutch. All right. And this prompted me to ask him to prove his claim. And if you watch the video, he goes on and on through several comments before he claims that it's confidential, meaning he never brings up in the first comment, as you just saw there, that the Styles Manual is confidential. He even says that he never saw RJG's style manual. Um, but he has his own style manual, which is fine. 
But then he starts claiming it's incorrect sentence structure in Dutch. So then I began asking him to show me proof of his claim. And then he begins by saying, well, do you, he asked me, do you know Dutch, Jason? Dutch is an infinitely more complicated, complex language than English. And then I responded, no worries. Um, my knowledge of correct sentence structure is such that I could syntax Dutch. I'm very confident that I can. And outside of that, I have translators available to me. I have no problem with it. Go ahead and send it. And then he sent me another message that was a bit condescending, again, saying that he doesn't know anyone in the Netherlands that knows correct sentence structure. So therefore, I must not know anyone that it's not true what I'm claiming that I have a translator. He implies that. And again, he says that uh, he, he quali quantifies himself as knowing several languages and trying to, you know, basically tell me how smart he is and how stupid I am. And that's why he's not going to share it with me. And then I say, no worries, just as I thought, you're not going to share it. I knew you wouldn't. I knew that you weren't going to step up to the plate. And then he responded back saying that, well, it's confidential. We can't share it. You don't respect our confidentiality, which he didn't mention that. He only mentioned it at the very end. And from my perception, it was an excuse because I think he, as they say, got caught out. When called upon to produce proof of his claim, he balked, he bailed out. So he says here, um, the real proof is my business being too valuable to share his business. So his styles manual is his business and it's too valuable to share. Afterwards, in your YT, you claim I was wrong entering your domain and so had to comply with your terms. I never said he was wrong. I just said that it is my domain. It's my vessel. There are terms and conditions that you must comply with. That's all I said. You never said it from the beginning. It is from the beginning, from the very first time, Leonardo, that you make a comment it pops up saying that there are guidelines, there are certain rules that you have to follow. YouTube does that. I have my channel set to do that. If you ignored that, that's on you. That is why I said you make a rat ace of it here. From my recollection, you never said that. You just said the grammar is not a rat race. I don't remember you saying a rat ace. And I don't remember you saying that I particularly made it that way. I just teach grammar and I just asked you to prove your claim and you got your shorts all in a bunch about it because you can't prove your claim. You won't prove your claim. I just came for some free and open conversation. Well, you got that. You got what you came for. PSG is for contract and covenant talk, not for this. Well, Leonardo, who are you to say what it's for or what it's not for? Everything is contract. Everything. Correct sentence structure can be used for anything I want to use it for. You do not determine what I or anyone else uses it for. You may use it for covenant talk, but everything is contract. Everything. You are willing, you are wiling me to comply with your PSG talk. No, I'm not. I'm asking you, inviting you to step up onto a geometric level playing field and prove your claims. That's all I'm asking you to do. You make a claim, prove it. If not, Again, if I really want to do business, then it is okay to confront me with the challenge of proof then. What are you talking about business? There is no business here. This is about proving a claim that you made. No one twisted your arm to board my vessel 
and make your claim. No one. You did that of your own volition. It's not about business. It's about contract. Everything is contract. You contracted with me the minute you stepped aboard my vessel. And then you made that claim. So then you made a contract with making a claim, which now you have to prove. And when you were called upon to prove it, you failed. End of story. For now, it brought damage between us. There is no damage from my end. In what way did me asking you to prove the claim that you made of your own volition by boarding my vessel, in what way did that damage you? How did Leonardo Bastiani get damaged by me asking him to prove his claim? That's interesting. That's an interesting psychological uh, contractual con uh, condition of state. It is a great pity. Well, maybe for you. I have no pity whatsoever. Matter of fact, I don't participate with such a concept. I find it condescending. See for yourself. See what? Do you have proof of the damage? I don't expect you to show me proof, Leonardo, because you don't show me proof of your own claim that you made in the first comment. So I'm sure you're not going to show proof of uh, damage. Good luck with all. Best regards. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found that as amusing as I did. The continuing saga of the individual from Netherlands who will not prove their claims and continues to produce various excuses and various fantastical scenarios um, as to why he's not going to prove his claims. So just like the others, I will categorize him as just another fiction entity. And although it may be entertaining uh, for the viewer and also hopefully cultivate a little bit of psychological knowledge in dealing with individuals and being able to do forensics and pick stuff like this out right away, which I did uh, with the first comment. I saw exactly what was going on and I pretty much knew exactly what was going to happen with this guy. Um, and I find I have a very good radar for that type of thing. Fortunately, I've been blessed with that probably to do with five years of experience of dealing with people all over the earth, hundreds and hundreds of people, different cultures, different intelligence levels, so on and so forth. It's pretty easy to see who the people are who are genuine, honorable, graceful, with peace, neutrality, rule one, rule equal. And this guy, well, I don't, I can't really say if, um, you know, I'm not going to say that he's a, a bad person or anything like that. No, far from it. I, I don't know him. But what I do know is when called to the carpet to prove a claim, he won't do it. So therefore, to me, he's fiction. He's fake. And we won't be contracting. That's for darn sure. If you want to join the, or support this channel, you can click that join button right there. There will be two tiers of membership. The first tier is for those that want to support. The second tier is for those who want exclusive content that I produce once or twice a week, not available to the general public. Available to the general public are the over 400 grammar videos here. If you want to learn correct sentence structure, you can study those videos, or you can contact me at the email address below and apply for a correct grammar workshop. Thanks for watching. Salute.